Find the antiderivative of x squared e to the x using the following ODE. y triple prime minus 3y double prime plus 3y prime minus y equals 0. So what are we trying to do here? We're assuming the function x squared e to the x is the derivative of some function, and we want to find that function. So first thing I want to note, x squared e to the x, that's going to be a solution of our ODE here. So you should check that. Also note, well, all solutions to this ODE are going to be in the form ax squared e to the x plus bx e to the x plus c ex. Okay, so if we work out the characteristic polynomial for this ODE, it's just going to be r minus 1 cubed. Now, another thing to note, if I take any solution for our ODE, if I take its derivative, that's going to be another solution. So you could just see that right here. If I take derivatives using the product rule and the chain rule, well, the worst that can happen is you're taking a derivative of one of these terms, and that's just going to produce another x squared ex term and a 2x ex term, and so on. So one thing we can ask is, how about if we go in the other direction? How about if I take the antiderivative? So we're going to assume that there's a solution that's an antiderivative, and that's going to get us to our answer. So what does the ODE get us? Well, if we look at the terms in the ODE, we're assuming y prime is equal to x squared e to the x. I can get y double prime, y triple prime, just by taking the derivatives. So we work them out to get this term and these terms. Now, we look at our ODE, the only thing that's missing is y. But since I have y prime, y double prime, and y triple prime, we substitute in, whatever's left over will be our y. So let's take a look. So we have all our items here. We're going to put them into our ODE, but I'll just push everything to the opposite side of y, where the 0 is. And now we just put our items in. So what happens, put our items in, we add them up, and what do I get? 2e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus x squared e to the x. You'll note, if you work this out by integration by parts, which is the way you know how to do it, you'll get the same answer. Only difference is you'll have to put a plus C on here. Finally, we should always check our work. So if I take the derivative of this, we're expecting to get an x squared e to the x out. That's just by definition of any derivative. And if you work it out, you'll note, okay, everything collapses down to x squared e to the x. So we're good.